Did you guys miss me, bro? I know, I know y'all miss me, dude. I know y'all miss me. It really does feel like I've been gone for like a year or something. I've basically been gone for four months. I posted three videos before that, but they're not really editing related. And I know a lot of you people are here because of the um video editing. And you guys know I'm like a go editor or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And y'all know like I'm on top, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay, let me stop. Last time I was here, I was like trying to be humble and stuff. I'm back and I'm better. Ooh! Ooh, y'all know the song, I'm back and I'm better, I'm better. I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I want to give you better. Baby, it's whatever. Anyways, let's begin with the video. Okay, for our numero uno, we have Pixel Sorter. I don't know why I said it like that. So basically, um... We can actually just go on effects and you should see um pixel sorting right here and i use a pixel sort i'm pretty sure there's like another plugin but i just used uh the one that's in ae already so basically what this does is if you increase the threshold you basically get like these lines you know and so if we keyframe this let's say we do this like that so within time or with time you know depending on how long you have your keyframes it's gonna do this and sometimes this, this could look really good um with glitches or um any other type of i don't know i don't know dude it's just an effect okay i'm giving you effect ideas so if you don't know how to put this somehow in an edit here are some examples on screen on um uh, times where i'll put it um you know what i'm saying you know i'm, I'm creative and all that y'all already know you know what I'm saying? i don't have to remind y'all okay the next effect on my list is wave forms for example right here i have my my voice tag i love you Juan. which by the way i'm gonna just clear it up right here i swear to god people be thinking that it's like a robot saying that no dude like they be like yo like is that an ai like how'd you how'd you make um how'd you make it say your voice how'd you make it how'd you make her it's a it's a she let me tell y'all the little the little story you know what i'm saying i got time right now so i'm gonna tell y'all the story it all started in 1956, it was a beautiful morning. Birds chirping. The wind moving. And the sounds of children playing outside. Now, so basically, um, back in 2019, I, I was talking to this one girl. And she sent a voice message saying that. Let me play one more time for you. I love you, Juan. And so basically, I screen recorded it and I just saved it. Then I just put it on one edit. And then after that, people was like, yo, it, it sounds good, da, 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 whatever. And so I just started putting it in my edits. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, I'm getting too sidetracked. Um, Basically, right, you're going to have to comp whatever. Or you don't have to, actually. So let's just make a solid. And let me make it the size of, um, of the, um, the audio. And so basically we're gonna go to effects of presets and type in audio audio waveform right here and then drag it to our clip um the default color is pink and like a little hot pink no no it's like a reddish i don't know but you can change the colors um we'll go over that in a second um but you have to link it first with the audio so right here on audio layer click it with you no know, i love you on i love you on you see and now it moves. I love you, Juan. Wait, that's a little too small for my liking. So you can, you can go it to maximum height. Basically, but it's like, like you go crazy like this too. I love you, Juan. You see? Whatever looks good to you, you know? You can customize this. You can increase the thickness of it. You know, if you want to go like Hi. this. You're not going to be able to see nothing, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just don't increase it that high, I'm going to say. Well, it has some type of feather, which is the softness. You could turn it down and you get this. So now if you do turn the thickness up, I mean, you still can't really see nothing. Here, you can mix the uh, white with like a pinkish color. You get this color. I think this is like the edge. Yeah, this is the outside color. So it's like the edges, I guess. This is the inside color. So let's let's go with the white. And then this one could be like a bluish. Oh, that, that looks clean that looks great but you know it's whatever you want um 
here's on screen some examples where i've used this i've actually used this a lot um i, um, I put a lot of voice messages in my edits um that actually means something or like um whenever i edit right i i try and put i try and show a story or you know later on let's say a year from now i rewatch these edits i'll be like oh i remember like what type of time that was or like you know i guess just as memories but whenever i edit i do do real things and not just edit just to edit you feel me as you can see um we got one as a text layer so this next effect is fire text you know there's there's uh, more complex ways of doing things um but i'm not gonna go too deep into it especially because i know a lot of y'all are beginners and you guys watch these videos because you're trying to get ideas or whatnot you know so we're gonna we're actually gonna comp this layer actually i don't think you have to but i always like comping my layers just in case i want to do something else after so comp it um and then we're gonna go over to layer make sure this is make sure your text layer is selected go to layer and then auto trace um make sure uh the time span is on current frame and these settings don't really matter just leave them how they are but if they are changes for some reason just leave them uh put them to how mine are let's take a moment for today's sponsor myself yes i'm sponsoring myself when it comes to beginners or editors that are already experienced i have a patreon basically i post tutorials it's basically like youtube but they're more advanced and more in-depth i'm not trying to give you all the sauce so i'm basically saving all that for patreon i'm starting to post more on patreon because it's just way easier I, I do raw content so a lot of the tutorials are like 40 minutes or an hour or maybe two hours if i'm doing like a watch me edit and like in between that i give y'all tips and on how to improve also patreon is a great way to contact me i do get a lot of dms but at some point i will get back to patreon link in description and then press ok it should basically mask if we press m you have a mask of all your layers as you can see or i guess your uh, your text once you do that, we're gonna go over to effects and presets and type in Saber. Um, this is a plugin. I've talked about Saber in my videos before. I'm pretty sure. I well, yeah, I did. I did a whole tutorial, but it is free. I'm pretty sure. No, I think it is free. Yes. So let's put this into our clip. Go to custom core and on core type, we're gonna change it to layer mask. So right here on preset, you have all of these presets that you can choose. You got windy. You get this cool effect you got protocol looks a little the same we got fusion looks kind of actually like fire but the one we're gonna be talking about is called fire which is this one as you can see it looks like fire and it looks really good it looks fire um you can change the, the settings right here if it's too thick sometimes your font messes things up so definitely get like a font that's like not too crazy you can see this looks go even with like a very thin one it looks really good like that looks good too you can, you can also keyframe, keyframe it. it so star size so star size keyframe all of these basic and size keyframe all of these uh, so basically in size i guess it's star it's a fire uh, so basically so I do have that. uh preset that's not for fire but this it's like for these things fire if that makes um, sense so i do have uh, fire. by the way this preset is uh, on my preset part. that's not uh, for fire but it's like for fire these is. things right here um but if i just um but yeah that's that's it for this effect you can actually change the hue so hue and saturation and then just change the look of it if you want to like, do like a different type i don't know do some crazy with it on screen there's gonna be examples of where i've used this exact effect on um so yeah this next effect is cc smear now i've talked about this on one of my effect ideas but i only did the eyes so it also looks good if you do the mouth hey yeah. uh face the presets type in cc smear drag this to your clip and then you're gonna want to drag this put in her, her eye and then drag this one down you're gonna have to mess with this a little bit see that's, that's a little too thick so we're gonna have to go with the radius bring this down it's still too big i think and then we're gonna use uh right here on reach we're gonna make a keyframe 
bring it a little bit forward, bring this to zero. So basically it goes like this. But so now you're going to want to duplicate this, just control D and you're going to want to move. Let's go over here. We're going to have to move this over here. No, this bottom one over here. And now you get this, right? This is what the other tutorial was about. Now it's basically the same thing, but now with the mouth. So duplicate smear two again, control D and basically just drag this right here and this one like this. Make sure it still looks like a lip. So I'll say like align it with this line right here so it can actually go. Because if you do this, it looks a little weird. So you know what I'm saying? So like this and give it like an angle like that. And then as you can see, when, when they both like come in, they kind of like interact with each other, which is kind of cool. And then we're going to duplicate smear three. And then basically just turn it this way. I said you don't have to move this, but actually, yeah that and now you get this it looks a little funny i ain't gonna lie it always depends on what type of picture you're using you are on screen there should be some edits where i've used this effect on so you know what i'm saying if you get any ideas from there then good so the last effect yeah i know it's the last one it's kind of sad the last effect is called shatter so it's basically on a name shatter so i have um a juice world picture right here RPG, so we're gonna be testing it on this picture. I'm gonna comp this layer first. Um, go to the beginning. Actually, no. I like to save um a little space at the start. Depending, it all depends on what what you're editing. So let's say you wanted to start shattering right here. So I'm gonna um cut this. And I'm gonna just comp it real quick. Go to effects and presets and type in shatter. Here it is. Drag it to your clip. And now you're gonna have this. So right here on the view, we, we're gonna want to press render. If you play it you get this but it's a little iffy you know so we have to, we're gonna have to fix it i usually always always go with glass i just like how this looks but you can go with literally any you can i've done puzzle pieces before right here you see it, lo it looks really good hexagons i've never done hexagons but i might i might do it actually looks it looks really good as you can see when when it's done like you get these little spaces right if you don't want that you can um remove that by going to force one and on radius just boost this up a little bit more like that you see and now everything should be shattering i don't know if you could tell but these are like a little thick you know? if you go over to shape and then go to extrusion depth you can increase how thick they are or how thin you know and on force one you can or i mean physics you can literally change the face six um rotation speed if you want them to rotate faster than that you see this one's rotating a little fast you know but watch this if i increase the speed watch this <laughs> but that's a little too much you know what I'm so yeah here are some edits where i've put this on um i've done this actually a lot of times Anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Um, I'm saying today's video like I post every day or something. I really appreciate you guys for supporting the channel, supporting me. It really does mean a lot, like for real, for real. If you guys want a part five, part five sounds like crazy. I ain't gonna lie, but if you guys want a part five, let's get to 7.5K um, likes. And follow my Instagram. That's where I post all my edits. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Deuces. I'm king of the hell, I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I cut them off like Bill Yeah, just like that oh.